What's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech and more reviews, and we're gonna do a quick tutorial, basically just showing you how to get the most out of your brand new M1 MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. So let's check it out. So you went out and you purchased a M1 MacBook because you wanted to use those applications from iPad as well as the iPhone on these devices, right? But if you go into the app store, sometimes these, these actual applications are very limited to what they can download. Like a lot of the apps that we want to get are not in this app store. Take for instance, if you want to download the Instagram app to your computer, you can't do that. It's not available. Or if you want to download Facebook, it's not available. So today I'm going to be showing you a little workaround to help you get the most out of this device and allow you to actually download these applications to your Mac mini, your MacBook pro or your MacBook air with the M1 chip. Now I will warn you that when Apple finds out that we're doing this, they probably will patch it some kind of way. So go ahead and get the most out of it for right now. Download as many of these as you can, just so you can be in the clear when they start to try to shut it down. So let's go. The app that we want to download is called iMazing. So first off, we got to find it. iMazing. And you come in here and you click on this application. Now, iMazing is an application that's going to allow you to basically just be able to manage your phone a little bit better. It's going to help you control your iOS devices by downloading um, your messages, your movies, basically just another storage center. But it goes a little bit further for your MacBook with M1 because you're going to download it. Now, we're going to just get the free download and I've already downloaded this. But this is the actual next screen that you're going to come in contact with. Now, if it didn't start, you just click here, but basically it's going to download. It's going to show up here. And then when you get it downloaded, you're just going to drag it into your application folder. And I'm going to stop this download because I already have this downloaded to my device. So let's get out of Safari. And once you have it downloaded, you're going to come into your applications folder. And you are going to just find it in there. So we got it right here. This is amazing. And you just double click on it. And basically it's going to tell you, do you want to check for updates? I'm not going to do that right now. And I don't want to get the paid version. So I just want to do continue the trial. Once you are there, my iPad is connected to it. It's really looking for it right now. So once you're on this screen right here, all you want to do is now come up to the configurator and then we want to go to library and we want to go to apps. So when you get into this screen, you're just going to click preview. And these are all the apps that I have on my device right now. So these, these apps either have to be purchased in your app store previously, or you can search for them by clicking right down here. Okay. So I already have a lot of applications downloaded, um, from the app store already. As you can see, I have Instagram on my computer now, which is not on the app store. I have JW library, which is not on the app store. I have Facebook app, which is not on the app store. I also have YouTube studio, which is not available in the app store. So what I want to do now is basically just show you guys that this will work. This uh, Canon camera connect application is not available in the app store. So what I want to do is just click on that and it's going to have me sign in to my account, just verifying that it is me and that I have this application already. And once it's verified that it is me, it will actually start downloading the application. So we got this app downloaded. Now, next thing we got to do is actually do this export IPA. We click on the export IPA and I've created an application file for all my iPad apps. And basically I just save it there. And once it saves there, I should be good to go. But once I actually minimize that configurator, I'm going to come over here to the folder where I specified it to go. I'm going to find it. Here is the camera connect IPA. Open it up and boom shows up right here in my applications folder so I can get rid of this. And then when you want to use one of these, like say I want to open up Instagram, I already have it on here. Double click on that and it comes up. 
Now, the only thing that I would say it doesn't show in full screen. So it's not meant to work on this device, but it will work. I'm gonna click on it again. It only shows up part, part of the screen, but you can still use it on here. Now, applications such as JW Library will actually show up in the full screen. Boom, there we go. And we can close that. And let's go to Facebook. And let's try full screen on Facebook. So it doesn't like stretch out the whole picture, but you, you can still use it, still usable. But hopefully Apple will allow these applications to be more fluid with these. I mean, you don't really need these apps. That's pretty much it. You, you bought the M1 Mac just because you wanted to be able to um, do these different types of things with it, get the iPad applications, get the iPhone applications. And I think this will help out a whole lot. So just know that Apple is probably going to figure this out that we're doing this and they're gonna put something in the works to stop it. So I suggest any application that you would like to download, go ahead and download it right now. So that's pretty much it guys. You gotta download that iMazing app, follow all those instructions. I will leave those below in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Uh, make the most of this computer while you can uh, and hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, please be sure and continue to give me the big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.